How do you guys remember the occurrence of total solar eclipses that have taken place over the years? Just the overlap of the sun and the moon at a particular time, leading to total darkness in certain parts of the world momentarily. But this year's solar eclipse is going to be uni. The sky is going to be the empty canvas for the celestial happenings of 2024, for our eyes will be bestowed with the opportunity to witness two cosmic events. The next couple of months are going to be a field day for astronomers and astrophysicists alike. While we will be witnessing the total solar eclipse of 2024, a long lost remnant from the early universe will merge with the sun and the moon, making for the perfect cosmic renaissance. Apart from the Funia Miss asteroids passing by the orbit of Earth, the year 2023 wasn't big on celestial offerings. Apart from Comet C2022E3, ZTF, in January and Comet C2023 P1, Nishimura, in September, coming in contact with Earth but not visible, there hasn't been anything of much significance. However, the onset of 2024 has brought with it chances for various unique celestial activities. One of the oldest periodic comets, 12 P. Pons Brooks, is soon going to make an entry into the Earth's atmosphere. also known as Devil's Comet. It was first discovered in 1812 with the naked eye and has an orbital period of 71 years. Mind you, the comet is 18 miles wide, roughly three times the size of Mount Everest. And thanks to the comet's violent nature, it has been blasting in 2023, emitting ice and gas forming a glowing halo resembling the devil horns. However, the bluish iron tail streaming from this active comet's coma is lighter and making it difficult to follow. It is the largest outburst yet for the Devil's Comet. This spring, the Devil's Comet is set to reach the first of its two perihelia for the 21st century. It is one of the brightest known periodic comets that has reached the visual magnitude of plus 7.5 in its first approach to perihelion. Let's not forget that Pons Brooks has an active nucleus, estimated to be about 30 kilometers across. So upon its near perihelion, an outburst will brighten up the coma and make the comet visible to the naked eye. On March 12, the comet will pass two degrees north of Delta and Romidi, allowing you to compare the brightness of the star and the comet. From March 13, 14, it will leave Andromeda and enter the constellation Pisces. Upon reaching this position, the comet won't be visible in the morning. On March 22, the comet will pass within three degrees of the pinwheel galaxy, providing for a great photo opportunity. While still on its journey, the Devil's Comet plans on making a guest appearance during the total solar eclipse on April 8. The observers from the USA, Canada, and Mexico who will be able to experience the total solar eclipse, will be lucky to witness the comet too. This eclipse will have a maximum duration of 4 minutes 28 seconds. During the eclipse, the comet will be located 27 degrees from the Sun and close to Jupiter, which will also appear at that moment. However, the comet will be the brightest on April 21, during its second perihelion. Upon being at the closest point to the Sun, the Devil's Comet will shine the brightest. Such will be its brightness that one will be able to see the comet with the naked eye. Soon after, the comet will disappear from the Northern Hemisphere's night sky. But it will remain visible in the Southern Hemisphere until the end of the year. The comet will be closest to the Earth by the beginning of June though it will be faintly visible since it is moving away from the sun. For the Southern Hemisphere observers, it will be visible to the naked eye. Are you excited to experience this celestial extravaganza? If you found this video intriguing, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Orbit.
hit the bell icon to stay updated as we unravel many more mysteries. Orbit. Beyond the Blue.